Okay. All right. Great. Ronnie, tell us, tell us, welcome. Let me just get you spotlighted. Ah, oh, there it is. It is beautiful. Well, I made no modifications. I followed the directions exactly. I used three colors that I didn't think would go together. But you know what? I had them in my stash. Two of them were Zabra Ball Cotton Crazy. And one of them was Zitron Cotton Solid. And I thought cotton for the summer, great with jeans and a t-shirt. Perfect. And it, knit, and it mattress stitched beautifully, blocked beautifully. That was it. Would have liked to have blocked it a little bit bigger so it had a little bit more reach, but I'll take it. I love it. I love those summer colors. I love that you tried it in a cotton and that you prevailed over a pattern that was a little more challenging than I think some of us had expected, actually. Yeah. yeah oh, that's actually, so pretty. Well, it shows what happens when you modify and don't follow the pattern. And I know where I went wrong. You know, I missed the section, I think it was six, where you're decreasing on the one side, I never decreased on the other. Mm -hmm. I just kept on increasing. So there you go. I'm so glad that you joined us and shared that with us. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome, everybody. Nice to see you all here. Um look at everybody i see cat you are wearing your finished bonkers let us spotlight you and oh, see right. this Hello. beauty oh there it is i'm very <gasps> very excited love the color thank you i was able to get through the boring part and i love the way it came out it looks like it fits you beautifully it does it really does I, i'm pleasantly surprised <laughs> you, i got your oh sorry go ahead i was gonna ask if you blocked it not yet i wanted everybody to see it before maybe it fell apart <laughs> <laughs> i always feel that way <laughs> Just well, the, photo, the photo that you sent me for our slideshow was super beautiful and it may have also oh, made thanks. it into our um our final tips document that I sent out uh, yesterday too. Cool. <laughs> Just making a note to myself. Anybody else want to check in and show us your progress or where you're at? I only have about 15 minutes, so I can. Okay. Yes, go for it. Sherry, hi. Oh, nice to see you. Here's where I am. Oh, pretty. I've got this far. Let me, let me spotlight. Hold on. Keep it. Keep it holding up. Let me. Let me spotlight. Uh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yes. Gorgeous. So oh, I love that and color. It's nice. This is the color. Mm. May I it's ask a little. Color, it's a little darker than it looks on the screen. Okay. It's the Sonata. Is that right, Sherry? Um. Is that right? Like Noro or something? Yeah. 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 And it's the yeah. reddish. The red. The reddish one. Yeah, it's mm. like a dark burgundy color. Mm -hmm. And it's striped really nicely, just this really subtle stripe here and there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And I think I put it on um, barber cords to try it on just when I was like maybe two inches below the armpit, just so I could make sure it was going to be all right in case I had to make adjustments. And it yep. seemed really good. I love it. I so, think it's going to fit you beautifully. And look how like you're just cranking it out. Yeah, it's, you know, it's easy to do when I'm watching TV in the evenings. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I have a really quick question, which I think I know the answer to. But um, when you do when you start on the arms and you're starting with a new piece of, of yarn, you mm -hmm. just weave the end in, right? Mm hmm. Yep, okay. and there's I think there was there was definitely a tips and a video about the sleeve area and like trying to minimize those holes too. Yep, I watched that, but then I saw that you had the end piece that was just still sitting there and I thought mm -hmm. I think she's just going to weave it in. 
And it's also great because then you have a little built in, um, a little bit of built in insurance if you do need to cinch up a little hole that might have popped in and you've got that to work with. So nice yeah, my work. Only challenge at the moment is I can't find any crochet hooks. I know they're here somewhere. They've just gone missing. Oh dear. That's all. It's all right. Awesome. I'm so glad that you could join us today. Me too. And please, um, if you would be so kind, if you're interested, I would love to include a picture, even if, it, if it's just in process of anybody's that's, that's, you know, just, it would be great to just see a whole showcase of all the yarns and all the textures and the way that everything's turning out for people. I was trying to get as much done as I can before the 28th and sent you a picture. Yeah. Perfect. So that's no I was problem. thinking I might start a one flood. sleeve or something. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Great. Uh, who else would like to check in today? Hi, Mary Ellen. How are you? Mary Ellen M. I'm fine and I finished, but I don't <gasps> Yay. I don't have it on. But okay. <gasps> wow. Oh, it's so pretty. Lovely. Lovely. Um, and how does it feel when you've tried it on? It feels very good. But I also wanted the, this to be to able to wear this in the winter with a sh under over a shirt, and it is the the cash merino, you know. It's not really a summer. <laughs> I know. Well, maybe it was summer if you were here in Maine today. Like <laughs> I am wearing a nice snuggly little sweater. Um, but it fit, it fits really well. It's lovely. I think it's gorgeous. I love the stitch stitch definition and I mean much as I love my rainbow stripes I do think that for my second one which I will eventually make I I want to do a solid or semi-solid because it is such a pretty yoke it's really beautiful Mary Ellen oh, thank you thank you I did and block you it do also. do you do you know that there is a Anker's like long sleeve sweater as well I don't know if I knew that yeah so i i don't it's such it seems like such a forgiving pattern and such a flattering one that i was looking at that as you know it's just a nice one to know about you know as people are looking for a sweater pattern that's accessible and and really flattering and pretty so oh it's, great yeah, it's just this is just the fit is so good because of the ribbing yeah, yeah. yep totally yeah well okay. i'll wear it next week Yay. And I'll send you a oh, picture. <laughs> perfect. Thank you. Um, and then let me take the spotlight. Off. It looks like Mary Ellen. I can't remember your last name. It it's also oh, M. It's, oh, it's, it's more, Mortola, Mary Ellen Mortola, right? Yes, right. So that's what's <laughs> yes. funny when you said it, Mary Ellen M. I'm like, well, I'm that too. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> So I was gone for a few weeks. I was on a vacation and then I came home and had COVID. So I'm really happy to be back. <laughs> so um, I haven't done as much, much work, but I'm, I am happy with it. Oh, great. I see all the, oh, the color. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just coming really nice. And I did do one sleeve. I just thought I'd try, you know, with your, directions and I was really happy I thought your directions were so good um with picking up the stitches and having some extra ones and you know I just I just was excited to finish one sleeve and then came back to the you know the long and boring part <laughs> um and you know we'll do the other other sleeve at some point but I'm hoping to you know have a finished product in time to show you but whatever it is I'll, I'll send a picture and Marion, it's so pretty can you remind us of the yarn i'm sorry to have to ask you again sure no worries it's called the great adirondack yarn oh, okay mm -hmm. great um and it it's 100 percent organic cotton um yeah and this i had this color beach house I had in my stash, but I got this one from you and that's going to be my next one. It's sort of blues and greens. Mm -hmm. um, 
and that one's pretty too. This this one's called hydrangea. So Ooh. I'm ex excited to finish the one and start the next. Not until you can settle down. Mommy's on the I way. love it. Oh, yeah. that's so, so nice. I, I want to finish this one and see, you know, is this the right size? Um, but you're still crying. You know, change the size to, in whatever. So. And I know. Amazing. Oh, it's so, so good. I, I'm very, I'm very happy with it. You know, mm. I really am. Gorgeous. That is awesome. You know, I was just I were, um, chatting with a customer yesterday who I was wearing my Anker shirt and um, and she saw the sample and she didn't come in thinking she wanted to make one, but she decided she was going to. And we had such an interesting conversation about sizing, you know, um, and, you know, she was. She was looking at the little chart that I made and she's like, well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a medium. And I was like, well, let's just look at these numbers a little bit and make sure that medium is what you want to make for the fit you want. And so it's just such another good example of how sometimes it can be a little interesting to get people to get over that hump. Well, I couldn't make a large, I'm not a large person or whatever, you know, might be going on in our minds. And, and so it was a perfect chance because I said, well, okay, so you know, do you like the fit of how you're seeing mine, um, you know, of how it looks on me, you know, because I added a few inches of ease to my measure of bust size, because I knew I didn't want it to be super form fitting just for my for my shape and what I wanted. And so we negotiated this interesting back and forth of just like her getting to really think about the fit as opposed to like the number or the size and freaking herself out maybe about making a large because you know she, she anyway but it, it's just it has been an interesting conversation with so many folks about like and how is the fit and what is the fit you're looking for and some folks are making them really nice and fitted and it looks super good and then some folks are sizing up because they just want to be easy breezy and relaxed in the summer so i i love that you're gonna give yourself the chance to really try it on see how you like that fit and then, you know, with a similar yarn, you could make a modification. That's so great. Well, I, I, I do think your, your video explanation of how to do the sleeve was really excellent. You know, I good. could just follow it right, uh, right along and, you know, felt really confident and amazing. I didn't get any holes. So I was really happy. <laughs> Yay for no holes. So good. Um, anybody else like to share where you're at in your progress? Well, I'm I'm finishing the fifth row of ribbing. Okay, and let me get you spotlighted. Yep, nice. Ooh, oh, wait a minute, that's inside out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so nice. Yes. Oh, that's perfect right there. Yes, it's beautiful. I love the color. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um and I'm doing it just for my these slacks that I have on. <laughs> um and I'm very glad to hear from Mary Ellen that your your um video, which I would expect, was perfect for helping with the sleeves because I'm very um I am anxious about about the next step. So that will happen. I mean, I'm I'm going to be finishing this row, and then that will be it. So, so I'll be looking looking at your video. Yay! Well, nice Don't to be see nervous you. About the sleeves, they're easy. Good. Thank you. Yeah, you'll get it. Um. Let's see who else would like to share a little updates. Teresa, are you on a sleeve dilemma right now? of the week? Oh. <laughs> okay, dilemma on the week, and then we'll check in with Teresa. Yes, tell us, tell us, Eileen. The sweater's great. Blocked it, wore it. People admired it. Took a picture to send to you, which was great. Flowers in the background. I can't send the darn thing. <laughs> 
And I think I, and maybe you did get it that I, I think I must have sent it 10 times, but I just saw something on the camera that said 12 messages unsent. So that's what oh. I'm working on to send. Okay. It to Got it. Than knitting the whole sweater. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, that's too but bad. I'll, I'll, I'll get it. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you for persevering. And so, um, so you, you like your fit? Tell us, tell us more. Um, everybody said it looks good. However, it was too loose. It's still too loose for me. I think I'm going to run a piece of yarn through it. And, or and the little, like little the thread tight. of elastic, like, it hangs, like she's... Mm -hmm. hangs off. But other than that, you know, it really Great. is. And this one that I'm making now is much tighter at the neck. So um, I'm looking forward to this one fitting a little bit tighter on the neck. Pretty color. It's yep. a beautiful color. Mm -hmm. And I think it is, it can be a little bit dependent on the yarn that you choose, how the neckline comes out. Because my neckline is definitely more open than yeah. others. Yeah. And I... Um, I don't know, maybe that was just me. Maybe I was like looser up at the top, but if I use the same yarn again, maybe I would add another, you know, maybe I would go down a size or something like that yeah. for the neck or something like that. But this is, this one's in wool. So it, um, you know, I think is one reason it's tighter. So mm -hmm. when I complain that this one is too tight, <laughs> welcome to my world. <laughs> Oh, great, Eileen. Um, how about Teresa? Are you on a sleeve? It looks kind of like you might be. Yeah, I'm working on the second sleeve right now. Finish the first. Nice. Oh, nice. So close. Yep, trying to get it done. <laughs> you'll, you'll make the deadline. Yes. Awesome. That was great. Um, how about anybody else? Pat, you want to tell us what you're knitting this week? <laughs> um, sure. I have just about finished that other version. It's not the anchor. It's the, what's that other one called? Derecho. Yes. I so, do really have to just pause to say, I love you in that blue. That is such mm -hmm. a pretty Thank blue. You. I just love this color. Mm -hmm. I really do. I like my green one, but I love this one. That's beautiful. So, mm -hmm. It's that's a, what was this yarn? It, you're a, that, um, was that also the pride? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what um, somebody just is doing in pink? Is yes, that what that's oh, what Susan's that doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's sort of they just peachy. have kind of a depth to their color. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. um, let's see if I can get it up here. So it's similar mm -hmm. to what we've done, except it's got a band on it rather than the 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 border around like the mm -hmm. this other. And at the bottom, it's Split. So oh, that's a nice detail. In the front mm -hmm. And longer in the back. And I thought it would never end. <laughs> <laughs> I so I got tired I know that of that feeling. And I started a pair of socks. <laughs> so I'm working Excellent. on a pair of socks at the moment. <laughs> nice. A, lo a little palette cleanser. Sometimes yes, you need a little, little break. Different. I needed a little break. Mm -hmm. Race. I'll tell you a sad story. I was debating whether to tell it or not, but I'm going to tell it because it's okay. embarrassing for me. Um, <laughs> you know the yarn Manos de Uruguay? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, soft, light when you knit it up. It's just light as a feather. It's so warm. I made two shawls, two different colorways. So I was going on a trip this weekend and I said, I'm going to wash those so I can take them with me. I'm starting to choke up. <laughs> I put them in the washing machine to hand wash. 
and the machine did a cold wash, which agitated them. So now I have two felted beautiful shawls where none of the definition, uh, all of the lace is gone now. It, I just cried all afternoon. What a stupid thing to do. <laughs> so I will oh. treat myself one of these days to some more yarn and make another one because I love that shawl. But, and I'm hoping they're about, they've lost about a fourth of their size. So I'm hoping that I can at least still maybe wear them as a neck. I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're oh. blocked upstairs right now. And I hate even walking into that room. <laughs> oh, goodness. So it happens, oh. girls. It happens. That is a yarn tragedy and a very sad story that I very, very unfortunately sad. also relate to that I, you know, knit a beautiful sweater it was a Jen Steingast with one of those beautiful yokes and it was a very weird and kind of annoying construction where you knit up from the bottom and then you did the yoke from the top and somehow married the two together it was super weird but I persevered and of course I had to like tear it out like a couple times because I didn't like the fit and you know so I probably ended up knitting the sweater at least twice before the end you know all said and done and I had worn it several times and everything was fine and I blocked it. And this one time I had it in the, in the washing machine and I was keeping my eye on it. Like I do, if I ever put anything in the wash where it's super gentle. And then I was like, well, there's just a few more minutes. I have to run out the door and I left it and I came back and it was, it was felted so uh, badly uh -huh. that I, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't even give it to like a tiny person. I gave, I tried giving it away to the smallest person I know and it was too, too tight. And I was like, I'm such an idiot. And it's also like not the first time I've washed this thing. And well, this winter I finally, cause she, my friend gave it back to me. She's like, I can't do anything with this. And I just stuffed it in the back of the closet. Like, I don't even want to look at you. I just and feel I like so ashamed and all that time. And I finally uncovered it this winter. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just cut the arms off and like, like I don't know, make some sort of bag, you know, use the arm. I've seen stuff like that on Pinterest where you can cut up an old sweater and make a bag out of it. And I cut off the arms and I was like, oh, well, if I cut into the neck, then you're going to miss all that yoke part. And I looked at it and I thought, well, could I make myself sort of a cropped sleeveless top to wear? because it was sure as heck felted. I just took the scissors to it. I mean, there's nothing unraveling there. That thing is felted. And so I actually made myself this funny, like muscle shirt, the felted <laughs> winter top and I wore it to Christmas dinner. And it was- You must was, show us great. next week. I will. <laughs> that makes me feel a little better. <laughs> so it's, it, but it's such a bad feeling. It is such a bad feeling, but I'm sure a lot more of us can relate to. And you just, especially when you know as much as we do, it's like, why would I make that silly mistake? It happens. Yeah, especially on something that you love so much. And I just love these, this yarn. One of the sets I had to go to England to get it because there wasn't, you know, I mean, I didn't physically go. I had to order it from <laughs> England because the U.S. didn't have any more at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, well. Try again. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a tough one. Yeah. It's sad. It's sad. It is sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've all been there, and it is sad. Very yep. sad. I'll live. <laughs> but what a disappointment. Live and learn. Um. Let's see, Linda, what are you working on this week? Well, I just received my, what's it called, plush on the round or whatever. <gasps> yeah. And it's a, like a lot darker than the picture. Oh. Um, does it look, it looks gray actually to me. Well, but yeah. I, when I put it near the camera, it's starting to look green, right? Oh, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. well, I'm yeah. just doing a um, a gauge. I nice. couldn't, do it, but I've never used anything this thick, and I don't know what to do with it because maybe I should do a cardigan, you know, for 
out, or maybe I should do a blanket. <laughs> it's just, it's so, it seems so thick because I'm so used to using like either fingering or sport. So I don't know. I think I'm going to have to look at different patterns, but I'm doing the gauge just to get a feel for it. Do another nice. Ramona. What? Do another Ramona. Did you I, 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 I don't know what a Ramona is because I got on here much after. After, after we did that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. What is Ramona? Is it a cardigan? Tell her ears. It could yeah, you can make. Pullover. With yep. deep uh, Um. There is, um, is it a sport for the, so there's, so there's a pullover that is Aaron or heavy worsted weight, and there's a car, a cardigan that's the same weight, and then the, um, there's a lighter weight, I want to say it's sport, um, as a as a pullover as well but you might look at the pattern and see like because once you knit your gauge gauge swatch um you might look at that gauge swatch and see what you're getting for measurements um if you were interested in that it's a pretty it's a pretty basic raglan but it's, it was a nice pattern really fun to work with with some good little detailing and um it was a good it was a really good knit but you'll You'll find something yummy to do with that yarn. It feels very nice and soft. And I imagine it will get even softer after I wash it, like mm -hmm. some of the other yarns. Yeah, it is such, such a good one. Well, that's what I'm up to. And I, mm -hmm. uh, I washed my um, Anchors yellow sweater. And believe it or not, I took someone's advice, I think it was Pat's, and I put it in the dryer after it was not wringing wet. And then I put it out. It was, it didn't completely dry, so I left it out. Anyway, I think it's perfect. It's really smooth. I think I would make it again in that same yarn with a different color. Thanks. That's great to hear. Well, send a picture if you think of it. Um, let's see. Anybody else want to weigh in here? Lucy, haven't heard from you in a little bit. I have to unmute. My front window is open and the dog can hear everything. <laughs> um, my on the round came today. See, there she goes. <laughs> There's nobody here. The on the round came today. Uh huh. Um, and it's really pretty, almost a bridesmaid, or always a bridesmaid? Always a bridesmaid, yep. yep. Um, I do Rami Hill's Mystery Shawl, so I'm a little bit behind on my anchors, but I'm at the boring part. Ah, oh, cool. yes. So, oh, beautiful. I don't have anything else to do until next week, <laughs> so maybe I'll get it done. I don't know. That's that's gorgeous. Is that like a teal color? Um, I think is it called mint blue? I think it's called mint blue. Oh, it's a tag right. Um, I can see it. It's a very lovely color. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's he wants to try it on. Blue. I think he wants to try it on. He loves it. Mm -hmm. I'm a miniature dachshund. It's not going to fit. It's not a <laughs> It's a in the window. And there's absolutely no one out front. No one. That's the way she is. So do we, what, um, do you remember the brand of yarn? Lucy, I can't remember. What are you using? It's the brand I can't pronounce correctly. I call it. S-C-N-D-E-S-R. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the, I don't know, Lene or something, maybe? Yeah, it's the one that was recommended, I think, with a sample of designer mm -hmm. recommended. 
Um, so fun fact about Lucy and me is that we um, are both going to be, well, I'm knitting it and Lucy just bought yarn for um, a design called the Scudic Bay Cardigan, which I think I mentioned last week. And it's a, it's, she's a great designer, um, birch tree knits, and it's a really fun sort of open cardigan. And Lucy, I'm going to just tell you right now that I have loved this knitting this cardigan so much. But I just got to the worst part, which is where you have to pick up like 90, well, for my size, 97 stitches going up the front of the band. And then you take around the back, they're on a holder, and then 97 more stitches down the front. And I was like, I'm going to die. So luckily, I had saved the Fiberside chat with um, Ann Bud. I hadn't watched that yet. I had the recording. So I was like, okay, I'm going to sit here with Ann and I'm going to slog through picking up these stitches but um i just uh, yeah really fun I not so much the button part. making a bigger size than you so i'll have more than 96 to pick up so you just better like treat yourself to a really good book on tape or something while you're doing that yeah and it'll give me more having that yarn here will give me more incentive to finish this i can start that project because you can just put your always a bridesmaid right next to you and kind of just keep like okay. looking at it. And then like, okay, I got to keep knitting. Yep. Okay. So we yeah. need to see what always a bridesmaid bridesmaid looks like. Oh, no, wait, I could, I'll mute myself and go get it. Yarn? Yarn. Yeah, it's yarn? a yarn. It's, okay. it's one of the on the round colors and it's just such a gorgeous, um, such a gorgeous, pale pinks and Ooh, just it's just okay. beautiful she's gonna run get oh actually oh no she's got always a bridesmaid i have himalayan salt mine himalayan I salt is like i know himalayan salt is a little more pinky pink and i i bought myself a skein to make a little baby something for a baby girl that's being born mm. so, yeah let's so that's not a dk here it is um let's see hold on let me just now you're on spotlight. It's a little hard with the lighting, but it's yeah, like a, 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 a. Will that help? Um, there's some purple. There's some color coming through. Hold it up just a little higher. Yeah. So there's just like a few little mm. speckles and it has a few little pinks in it, right, Lucy? Yep. And there's some purple, I think, up here. And what's this going to become? Is it Scoobic Bay? The Scudic Bay cardigan. Oh, um, is that the one you were working on, Iris? <laughs> yes. Yep. I think that's going to be really lovely, Lucy. Great. Well, let's see who. Uh, Jill, you're on here today. Welcome, Jill. I yes, I couldn't resist. I tried really hard to resist making the anchor, but when I visited your shop. I ended up buying three sets of yarn to make them. And this is the first one that just arrived today, which is Noro Sonata. And you can see how far I've gotten. I'm just casting on and on the first <laughs> row. So let's see how much I can get done and catch up with you gals. But I, <laughs> I couldn't resist coming in just to see what everybody else was doing and get some inspiration. So I'll be back next week to see your finished products. And maybe and I'll get this one done. Well, I love that you, when I saw the order come through for that, I was like, of course, it's this beautiful purple I've just been eyeballing. And, you know, knowing your penchant for, I've seen you with other purple knits, I was like really, really happy that that's the one that you got. Well, I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this because it'll go with almost everything I own, which was, which is great. But you, do you remember the other two uh, skeins of yarn I bought to make the hat? Um, um I, yes. I ordered more pink and more sort of white with some pinks in it. Um yep. to make two more of these because I I thought I have to have three of these. These are great. Yay. <laughs> and and it's just because I didn't know it would look so good on until I saw you in the shop. And Aww. I was really amazed. It's really a nice sweater. It really is. And we just keep saying it, but the it's just like, that's a really great design. You know that you've got a good design when you have something that will look so good in so many different yarns, so many different bodies, 
so many different Mm -hmm. shapes. And just then on top of that, how good it feels to have it on your body. I mean, I, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm so glad you hopped in. And I think there was somebody at Sunday's, um, Sunday's drop-in in in the shop who said she's working on a very beautiful Hohi Locatelli design. That's kind of asymmetrical a little bit. And she picked the seven sisters, um, arts yarn, the, um, Astrid, it's the it's the fingering that has a bit of silk in it. It is such a dreamy, luscious yarn to work with. So she's like happily making slow progress on this what's going to be a beautiful sweater. But by the end, she came with a friend who was who was knitting the anchor. And but by the end of the afternoon, she walked over to the the Noro um, display and she's she she said I, the, the peer pressure has gotten to me and now um i'm i'm gonna be buying this um she picked a it's a beautiful sort of silvery light gray and mm. so she came to the peer pressure and even though she's got this other thing she's like i'm just gonna have <laughs> well i have three sweaters in process right now i can't believe it what a crazy idea that is but at least i don't get bored no, knitters don't get bored. That's for sure. We may get distracted by like the next new amazing project we want to knit. That's a very real thing, but we do not get bored. Um, Lucky for us during the pandemic, we yep. occupy ourselves productively with creative mm-hmm. activity with knitting. Yes, we did. We sh- we I, have sure friends, we did. I have career friends, gals who have no hobbies just workaholics, but never had hobbies. And when the pandemic came and some of them had to work from home remotely and many of them, their companies closed and they had Mm -hmm. absolutely nothing to do. They're all seniors. They couldn't go out in the area that I live in. We are still filled with COVID in our hospitals. So they were absolutely calling me like every day, ranting and raving and carrying on like lunatics. Here I am working 12 hours a day from home, but never not knitting, knitting through meetings, knitting through everything I do. 24 seven, I'm knitting. And they kept ranting and raving. And I thought, wow, what idiots you are. You never allow yourself the pleasure of a hobby. So I I said to them, oh, some of them wanted to come to my house. Could you teach us to knit? Oh, no, you're not coming where I live. I have enough problems. No, 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 no. But I gave them links to really easy learn to knit on YouTube videos. And um, I would say out of eight of them, Four, learn to knit. I said, all you have to do is just knit the garter stitch. Just knit something. Just knit a scarf. You know, whatever. Just don't, you know, whatever. You know, it's only knit pearl. Increase, decrease, yarn over. That's it. But just do that. And and three of them now can knit knit pearl and they can increase. So um, they wanted to knit something. The others, eh, they're still doing nothing, just bitching about it. <laughs> Still staying home because everybody is pretty much still isolating where we live and still staying home and uh, yeah, doing nothing. They've tried all kinds of things. I said, well, everybody, we all get the New York Times. So why don't you do the Sunday puzzle? Do the daily puzzle and get up. Get up. That'll take you a week. But now for those, who knit, for those who knit on Zoom, we are all knitting together. My recommendation, very easy, uh, which is... Um, the open air wrap. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. And I'm knitting it with uh, Ella Ray rustic silk on size eight needle. And I oh, cast wow. on 98 stitches. And it's going to be for summer a great, really long mesh open scarf. And uh-huh. it's, the same, it's the same row. It's just one row. And I love it. And I love it on a real big needle because it really just I won't even need to block it. Yay for that. But, Yay for that. So they're all knit, they're actually knitting it with um they're all knitting it with Madeline Tosh Merino Light. But mm. here's what I told them. Knit it on a size 10. And knit it with uh they're all pretty, you know, good size girls. Knit it with 98 stitches, but knit it on a size 10. 
because it'll really open up because the mm -hmm. plastic silk is very drapey, but you know, regular Merino light is not so drapey. So uh, three of them are doing it. And uh, this is our third week doing it. And uh, of course I'm the furthest along, but I'm never not knitting, but they are, they are coming along pretty good. And now the others all joined us. I told them they could join us on Zoom if they wouldn't bitch about anything. <laughs> and now, now they all want to knit this. Well, actually, they asked me if I would knit them. <laughs> would you knit us this? No, I'm not gifting you this. No, sorry. <laughs> but it's a good idea if you really want to knit it. You can knit it. You just That's have great. to. You know, so maybe we'll make eight new knitters out of these people. But one of we the, do. We need more. we need more knitters. And one of the eight said, "Oh my God, I wasted three years of of doing nothing." Yeah, because hey, but I feel bad for people, all people who have no hobbies. Like you know, I'm an avid reader. I listen to podcasts. I listen to music. I listen to Audible. I knit. I needlepoint. I I used to do counter cross stitch. My eyes will not allow that anymore. I would say primarily I'm just knitting, knitting, knitting and working. But well, it's, it's so satisfying to have something too that is portable. I mean, a lot of arts and crafts activities you can't take with you. And and I when I sort of first got more seriously into knitting, it was when my kids were little and I kind of like wanted something to keep me entertained, uh, you know, while I was sitting at the playground with them and they were busy and I, it was so nice to have something that I could just sort of, you know, have some yarn in my hands and, and yeah, not be bored ever. I told them you could order from Amazon paint by number kits. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how elementary it is. The point is you're being productive. And you're yeah. being creative and you're doing something where here you all mm -hmm. just wasted three years sitting at home watching TV. They all were watching soap operas. I said, how sad for you. Not that there's <laughs> anything wrong with it, but going from working a strong work day mm -hmm. to zero, nothing, absolutely nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I can't even, I, I just, we are blessed because we are knitters and we have mm -hmm. rap. Mm -hmm. That's all um, I like. I point. love that we are blessed because we are I'm writing it down that's a good quote because we're knitters and we have yeah. ravelry and we have wonderful knit alongs like this <laughs> where we can zoom and talk to each other and we have Iris's guidance and <laughs> you know the writers are on a walkout on strike there's no new shows on tv mm -hmm. or movies that weren't already made up so if you're a tv watcher solely you're kind of out of luck. And with knitting, with because of Zoom and the knit alongs and the YouTubes and Ravelry, there's never a time you can't learn something new and knit. Totally. Look, I'm um, wearing, I want to get to I'm wearing my original shift. <laughs> I love it. Um, I just want to, Mary Ellen Mortola, you had your hand raised, so I wanted to make sure we got to your question, if you have one or thought. Well, um, I got an email last week um, from my local knit shop, and they were focusing on this anchor top, and I thought, well, you're about a month behind, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, that ship has sailed, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> they were um, recommending linen yarn. And I just wanted to ask about that if anybody was making the anchor uh, on a yarn that was predominantly linen. Well, mine is, the Linello is, and the Pride is also, um, is the Pride and the Linello are the same yarn base. So it's a bit more linen, then there's cotton, and then there's viscose. So anybody that's using Pride or the Lanello, um, that is that is a, a more linen base. And you know, I have to say, it was my first time knitting with linen and my first time knitting with non-wool in a really long time. So it took me a little while to get used to it. And at first, I didn't totally love how it felt. You know, I'm used to having woolly wool that's got flexibility in it, and this just felt different it was just different and so it just took me a little time 
I got used to it and I ended up really loving it. And especially with the Lanello with those stripe changes, it was so fun to watch those happen. But I love how it's washed and how now that I've washed it a couple of times, um, it's just, it's, it's so nice to wear. It just feels great. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, I always like linen in the summer, just mm -hmm. things to go together. Very Which, comfortable. And that's why I like Ella Ray rustic silk lace because summer. Mm -hmm. it's a good thing. That and linen. Oh, I did nice. want to say I'm knitting my open air wrap in case you noticed on a 16 inch cable, which mm. is my favorite needle to knit on. My favorite size. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Love it. And for any of you who have followed, like Pat, my illness, my in bed for many months now, Friday, I will be allowed out. I am 99.9% uh, .9 healed. Shows you what many okay. moves in bed will do. I am allowed out. So I am going on Friday with a triple mask, two cotton and an N95 mask to get, I'm going over to the hospital to get my booster for COVID, my, my new booster. There you go. Hooray. Congratulations. That's I mean, fabulous. I was so excited. I said, oh, do you think I could go to the cafeteria and get something? They have a great salad bar. No, just go in. <laughs> we are into one room. You'll call when you get there. Park outside because we can't come outside and give you a shot outside. You'll come into one room and you're leaving in 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Hey, <laughs> I'm grateful. I'm going to be out. Oh, I'm so Good happy for you, you Ronnie. Oh. Four months I've been inside. Wow. Love my yeah. bedroom, but you know, it's getting a little. Enough is I enough. thought I could work from my bed. I can knit from my bed. I can do everything from my bed, but it's a real pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I persevered and I'm glad it's all good. All good. Well, thank you for that update. That is really good news to hear, Ronnie. Yeah, it's my um. birthday, Memorial Day. And so. Oh. I, I, that was my goal to try at least, believe it or not, and sit outside, go in my pool, maybe. Oh, yes. But no, not up to that yet. Only allowed to go out and get the shot. But hey, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I'll, take it I'll take it and come right home and go inside for another week. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Can't wait to get the shot. I hate needles, but what the hell? I'm so excited. <laughs> It gets you out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. it, gets that's you it. Out. There's, there's a reason to go out and I'm going and uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll love this needle. <laughs> well, I want to make sure I want to um, check in with anybody else who hasn't popped on yet. Um, Beth, McLean, you want to pop on yeah. for a minute? I was just laughing because I just, I don't like knitting. I'm on a sleeve and I don't like doing um double points and I just dropped one um oh, no. <laughs> but that it was it, it was not one that the stitches were sitting on so I'm on my sleeve so that's good um but I really appreciate the um picture you sent of the person that had the done the strike with the two colors on the um yoke part oh, um, yeah. because that that gave me the confidence to I have some stuff at home and I think what I'm going to do is do the two colors. Like I have a cream color and then I have these like really bright colors. So like one of the colors I'll alternate with the cream. But then I think with the other ones, what I'm going to do on the body is like do tiny stripes, really thin stripes, like throughout the body mm. with the different colors. Um, okay. And the, with the cream is like the background on it. Hopefully yeah. it won't be too busy, but that's what I was thinking I would try with that with that cool. yarn yeah but I liked I really liked um how the the yoke came out with the two colors it looked nice and um Miranda in the shop is I think I mentioned is using some multiple colors in her yoke and hers and it looks like she's closing in on being finished so hopefully we'll have a picture of that Another picture. too good yeah good all right thanks Beth Hey, Bev, how are you? You know, I feel like I'm back in grade school. I'm praying the teacher won't call on me. 
<laughs> oh no 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 that's not this this is just like hey how are you and that you know well, no, that's no okay pressure. you're about 70 years younger than any of the teachers i had in grade school too <laughs> <laughs> um i i'm really struggling it's i've been I'm, I've never worked with a 16 needle before, much less a six. And I just, I, I think I, I picked the wrong time to have an extra hand. It's like my fingers are always getting in the way. So, uh, and I can't get the stitches even the way I like them. So it's, um, it's been a struggle, but mm -hmm. that's all right. It's a learning experience. So, well, so for, um, our next, so, for our next one, can we do something that takes a size 15 needle or something? <laughs> <laughs> a bigger size needle. Yeah, I mean, the six can be a little small for some um, hands too, you know, just depending on your, how, you, how your fingers feel. Well, and there's a reason my mother didn't name me Grace. So, <laughs> <laughs> but... I'll get there. It's just very slow. So you cast on though, and have you started your ribbing or? Oh gosh, no, no. I it took me a while to get a uh, gauge swatch this week that okay. I that I liked. Um, mm -hmm. But and Anne's class last weekend was excellent. I really enjoyed that. So, but um, uh, not that you can hold a candle to what you guys do, of course, you know, but. Um, <laughs> oh, she's Anne. Come on. Yeah. But it'll get there. It's just, you know, it's just to struggle and it's okay. You yeah. know, if you don't struggle some, you don't gain anything. So. Well, but. we are definitely going to do. Um, starting in June, like I said, like the second weekend in June. A finish along and maybe there would be some Sunday where you could get down to the shop and we could just sort of sit down and get you through you know you could just spend a few hours and we could kind of get you through that beginning part once you're ready for that if that would work yeah I'll talk to, I've got to check Rick's schedule because you know mm -hmm. with my vision, which also doesn't help this one bit um you know see what because he still has to drive me so mm -hmm. we'll figure it out all Are you right. going to do the finish along on Zoom or only in person? So we we haven't nailed. I think we're probably going to do because um, my my schedule will be changing a little bit in the summer because we need more staff in the shop. So I think we're not going to do an every week finish along on Zoom, but we're probably going to do a couple per month on Zoom, and it will just be a chance to check in and and watch nice. your email because we'll be sending something out. But I think it'll be really fun to get the motivation, try to identify which projects we're going to actually be working on and trying to, to hammer through to the end. Yeah. Nice. Um, and let's see, Wendy, you're not on camera. Do you want to be on camera and check in real quick? I'm in the midst of some. I'm just checking in. I ain't oh, hello. Yet, but I'm starting today. Say that last part again. I ain't started it yet, but I'm starting mine today. Good. Awesome. Casting on. That's exciting. Yeah. I and got are you? And I just pulled it out too. Where are you today? Yeah, where are you? In Ohio. In Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. And so what color are you using for your for your shirt? I'ma use this um uh, Emma's color that I got. Let me find hold on, hold on right quick. Let me get it. Okay. We'd love to see it if we can. Let me grab it. I'm so impressed by this woman. She's on the road 24 seven in, in an 18 wheeler and she's got all that yarn. I know. It's I'm, incredible. I know. She's knitting along. She's my hero. <laughs> but I mean, honestly, like, you know, you talk about the hobby, like that's a lot of time to sit and not do anything, right, Ronnie? You've got to have some knitting. Let me tell you mm -hmm. something. I don't go anywhere without at least three projects, period, in my briefcase, in my roll along in my car anywhere office home well home i got 
ginormous staff, so of course. But I like being able to get up at three in the morning. This is sad to say. I get an idea in my head. And oh, okay, I've got my stash to dig through. Yeah, no problem. Oh, hey. Okay, let me spotlight you. This oh, look at that. Um, this yes. by um, Ola by Emma Jean. Okay. Beautiful yes. color. So, that is so a nice pretty. color. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. That's going to be Thank gorgeous. You. It's gonna be so pretty. Can you tell me your name again? I'm sorry. I know that you're every Ophini. name is count. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Are you on the road 12 months a year? No, I go home and leave him out here. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> but Where's my husband you? always out here. Sometime when I'm at home, he be out here for about a month and then yeah. Where's home? In um, Little Rock, Arkansas, but I'm moving back now to Georgia, where I'm originally from. My cousins live in Little Rock. Nice. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have a lovely yarn shop there. I've been there. Oh, yeah, yarn <laughs> candy. Yes. You know, uh -huh. our shop had got messed up in a tornado we just had not too long ago. Oh, but my she God. Just, um, she was down for about a month or two months. She just opened it back yesterday. She's back in her shop now. Whoa. Oh, my God. And the, she's mm -hmm. lovely. The shop is lovely. I went for a family wedding. I uh -huh. flew out to Little Rock. I got there. And the next morning, the first thing I did, I was walked out of the hotel, got an Uber, and went to that yarn shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's <laughs> real Not that nice. I needed she anything. Got, Not that oh, I needed her anything. Oh, little dog but... named Beasley. And then right before that, uh, two girls went in there and robbed her. Oh my God. They had. Oh my um, God. Who robbed the yard? Went in now. Now. Yeah, they went in there and played it off. Uh, she was busy with a customer. I wasn't oh there God. yet. Because I, I, sometimes mm -hmm. I just go sit and hang with her and see she need me to do anything around them for. Her. And, oh, um, wow. and I buy a lot of yarn and stuff like that. So. I, I was just finna go that day, but I didn't. And two of them, they was known around our area for going, uh, going stealing people credit cards, all that. She was helping the customer. The girl I mean, got behind them. the counter yeah. and went in her pocketbook, got her wallet, and oh they went and tried God. to rent up twenty three thousand oh dollars worth of stuff on her credit card. Oh and my the God. Last time God. They, they caught them and put a stop on it. And I'll bet they didn't steal any yarn. Probably they didn't steal no yarn. Yeah, what idiots. I would have gone in. Exactly. <laughs> to when get the I money, went there, I want the yarn. They yeah. didn't even look like they know where the yarn shop is. Because when I went there the next day and she told me, I said, uh-uh, mama, because I call her mama. I said, no, nah, mama. I said, she showed me them on her camera, on the, on the video, the camera. And I said, Mama, they don't need look like they they look like they out of place. If I was here, I would have known, you know, mm -hmm. because I would have stopped them right at that door. Um, what you looking for? Do you need, you know, one on play, try to play it off and tell her, oh, I'm looking for, it was two of them. One distracted her, one went and got her wallet. The wow. one that was distracting her, she was saying, I want to crochet a blanket. For my uh cousin or uh, something like that, they had mama to turn her back, I guess. And that's how they got them. Yeah. Wow. That's mean. That's mean. Yeah. That is. That yeah. is. I never heard of anybody knocking over a yarn shop, my guy. Totally. They yeah, had hit them and, and the when the, um, like investigators let her know they had hit somebody in uh Tennessee, another yarn shop. They that's why I'm letting everybody know all yarn shops know. I'm glad that this was brought up just now. Be aware of them. You know what I'm saying? When you get a chance, mm -hmm. go to Yarn Candy. And she got their pictures on her Facebook page mm -hmm. so people can see their face because they is going around attacking yarn stores now. Oh, really? Oh, you yeah. know what? You know what? When oh, you yeah. think about it, when you think about it, in some yarn shops, there's classes going on. People who own mm -hmm. or staff the yarn shop, they're busy running. They're helping someone with a the yarn. Mm -hmm. They're teaching mm -hmm. a class. 
they're put they're busy putting uh yarns mm -hmm. out on so you're right you know what not i mean my little yarn shop where i live yeah I, they're not nobody's ever behind that cash register it's just yep. sitting there when you yep. walk in here. you're right i'm gonna call her and tell her that yeah mm -hmm. because mama she the only one and i had mm -hmm. told her if she ever needed my son he's 22 he even told her i'll come up there and secure secure for you you know what i'm saying wow. he was saying let her know he'll come up there and be her watch out if she needed him to you know, and uh, I told her if she needed me to come and help her, I will. You know, yeah. when she got to ring somebody up, let her go back there and ring them up. And I help the next customer look for their yarn because it's only her, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. I went to these small businesses that are, that are like, you know, they're, they're struggling enough. Right. And yeah. I mean, a lot of us, I think, don't, you know, and, and it's a small shop and especially in a town like ours, we're, mm -hmm. we're really see, there's a lot of seasonal busyness that comes up, mm -hmm. but then there are slow times where maybe you just have one person working for yeah. sure. But, um, well, thanks for the heads up on that, Afini. And I'm so glad that you joined us again from the road. It's awesome. So okay. next week is our last, um, is our, is our finale. So if you get a chance to take a photograph of your started summer okay. t-shirt and if you want to email that to me so we can get it in okay. the slideshow um it's gonna be great and we'll watch that slideshow together next week too um and then the other though before we hop off i did just want to say that there is gonna there's a new podcast episode that i posted on youtube today and there's gonna i think it's gonna go out on social media tonight so that's the part two podcast so you're gonna get to see all of my unfinished projects this time around okay. <laughs> okay. And then we um we also are going to talk a little bit we talk a little bit about the fiber side summer crawl which is something that longmart yarn shop organizes they're the same people that do the fiber side chats and we're going to participate again and so how it works is it's pretty inexpensive. It's like a $10, I think, pass that if you okay. purchase, then you get access to watching these Zooms where they take you on tours of yarn stores. So it's like Sunday afternoons, I think four yarn stores kind of do a little, you know, a little introduction or they're showcasing some of their local special yarns or whatever it may be. And so you get to see these four little miniature yarn visits in one afternoon. And it's just, a, it's a super cool um, opportunity to kind of have armchair yarn tourism and find out okay. about some of these amazing shops. Yeah, like that are all around. And and I can't remember when the kickoff is. If it's, I, did, I actually was just looking. I don't remember, but watch your emails because there will be some more information coming. And I think the one that our shop is featured in is not until the end of August, like the 20th, or maybe one of the last ones. It's a little mini fiber, a virtual fiber fest. It's kind of a virtual fiber fest. And for those of us yarn nerds, it's sure fun to peek inside other folks' local yarn stores, right? I love it. Right. I do every virtual fiber and fest. And it's called Fiber Chat. It's called the Fiber Side Summer Crawl. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Afini, if you, I don't, are you getting our emails? Yeah, I think I did. That's okay, how good. I have okay. found you guys. Yeah. Perfect. So you'll you'll get info about this too. That'll come out soon. I'm gonna put a little something in the newsletter. So anyway, we are just a little past six, but thank you everybody for coming and looking thank forward you. to next week. And it was great to see everybody. Bye thank everyone you. and have a happy yeah, Memorial Day weekend. Day. Yes. Yeah. Happy holidays. Hit your way thank through you. Memorial Day. Bye everyone. Bye, Bye everybody. Happy birthday, Ronnie. Yeah, happy birthday, Ronnie. Thank, you. Yeah, happy birthday, Ronnie. Thank you. Hey, I'll be out. I'll be out. Yay. <laughs> One